So lastly, so as introduced before, I think you have in the in the previous lecture video, I have talked about subsets. So sets could have subsets, meaning subsets, uh, meaning a set could also contain another set. Okay, subsets with the symbol this one, so this represents the subsets, are sets found inside a set. So example, so we have three sets here, the set N that contains all the names in the world, G contains all the girls' name, and Z contains all the boys' name. Okay, so for example, we have the set, and uh, as we have observed, sets G and Z are also names, right? So G and C are also sets of names, but in, in different category. G is for a girl's name, Z is for a boy's name. But as you have observed, since this set also contains names, we can say that G can be a subset of N. Since N contains all the name in the world and N could contain girl's name or boy's name, so we can easily say that G can be a subset of n or it can be read as this g is contained in n or n contains g so it's the same with uh the set z so i'm sorry for the slides this is actually wrong this is sh this should be z here okay so so this is we can say that z so let's assume that b is z okay so z should be a subset of n since uh, z contains all the boys names and again the set n could contain a boy's name so we can say that b is contained in n meaning the b could be inside n or n contains b so basically that is what a subset is okay if two sets are subsets of each other meaning if x is a subset of z and z is a subset of x then both sets should be equal. So I think you already know why. Since as x contains z, okay, and z, all of the value in x is found in z, and all the value in z is found in x, then it is easily concluded that these two sets are equal. Okay, so if a set is not a subset of another set, then we use this symbol, meaning it is not a subset of the set. So an example of that is M is a number. M is a set of numbers. A is a set of letters. So meaning, since there could be no numbers found inside the set of letters, again, sorry for the very wrong representation here just means that M is not a set of uh, letters. No, it's not a member of the set of letters. So N here should be A. <laughs> I'm sorry for a very wrong lecture, very wrong representation of the sets here. But let's assume that A is equals to N. So here we see that there could be no number found in the set of letters. So meaning that M is not a subset of N or A. Okay, so let us also, let me also represent a concept of proper subset with symbol this one. So proper subset is, um, is um, well basically if we differentiate a pro what the difference between the proper subset and a subset is that uh, if for example a is a subset of b then ele then every element of set a is in the set b so meaning um, it did not matter whether b has more elements or not as long as A is a subset of B and uh, A is inside B. While if we say uh, if A is a proper subset of B, all of the elements of the set A is in 
set B, but B should always have more elements. Okay, so when you say a proper subset, meaning that it is very much required for A to be a member of B, and B should have more values than A. Okay, but when we say just a subset, it doesn't really matter if B has more elements or if A and B are equal. Okay, so an example of that, uh, we have this. So we have a set A which is equals which has elements 1 2 3 4 and set b which has elements 1 2 3 4 5 thus um, we see that a is a subset of b since a is found in b and uh, set a is a proper subset of b since b has more than has more elements than a no since so we can say that yes, this B A is a proper subset of B. Okay? Since again, proper subset meaning dapat mas daghan ang sulod ni B kaysa sa kang A. Pero kung may kag subset lang, doesn't really matter at all. Okay. Doesn't really matter if daghan ba ang element ni B as long as naa si A kang B. Another example is that uh, this one. We have sets that contains the same elements. So since A is found in B, we can easily conclude that A is a subset of B. However, we cannot conclude that A is a proper subset of B since B has the same number of elements as A. Okay, so I hope you understood the, co um, the, one of the concepts of sets. And, um, and that is all for this lecture video.